It's all about the surprises. I'm not like a huge fan of like those fake tattoos because they're like kind of a pain. Stickers are easy, tattoos, I'm a little thing, I don't know. Because I was like, oh, Easter baskets. I better get this figured out. And I didn't have to go shopping. And you're like, oh crap, I gotta go to the store for Easter baskets. I'm like, hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Danielle Warren. I thought I would do a quick video to show you how I am filling my girl's Easter baskets this year. I already posted a video, but it was from last year. And so I know like I literally just put one on my channel, but I wanted to go ahead and post it because I don't want to constantly be a year behind. So I wanted to go ahead and just get it on my channel, get it up. This is a kind of a different Easter for us. It's a quarantine Easter. I usually buy things when they're on sale after the season is over. So a lot of the stuff I got last year. A couple of points that I'm gonna make are ways that you can fill your baskets for fairly inexpensively. How I reuse a lot of things and store them so that I can save money and constantly reuse the same things. What kinds of things I put in my basket so that I'm not putting a lot of candy in their baskets. So how I save money, how I reuse things, and then how I use little amounts of candy. If you are not subscribed yet and you love content like this, mom to mom stuff, cleaning, travel, Disney, just really lifestyle kind of stuff, I would love for you to subscribe and join this community. Yeah, so let's jump into these baskets. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how I reuse a lot of supplies in order to save money, you know, not be constantly throwing things away. The first thing I have is I, I bought these baskets and I have a different color for each of my girls. So Mackenzie is always pink and Mia is always purple and that way I know whose is whose. I got these 50 to 75% off, I wanna say at Kroger maybe, after the season one year when the girls were little. And I also got them matching buckets after the season as well. These are what they use when we go Easter egg hunting in our backyard. Mackenzie gets pink, Mia gets purple. Then I have grass to contrast with the basket. I just reuse this every year. So, you know, I don't know. You probably spend like a dollar on this stuff. And then I just put it in Ziploc bags. And then I, I have one big storage tub that I have all of our Easter stuff in. So we reuse the grass. We also reuse the eggs until they get, you know, cracked and weird or whatever. Or we lose pieces to them, then I'll throw them away. But we have, we actually have, I think, another bag of these too. Because, you know, you accumulate them over time as well. Some of them are super cute and they like, we have some bees. And then we've got a ladybug. These are kind of fun for putting in their baskets. And then the other ones we'll put around the yard and let them hunt for those. That's how I'm like reusing things. Those are the things that I reuse. I buy a lot of things the season before. Every year after Easter's over, I'll usually go back and see what's left over, you know? I mean, sometimes it's picked over, although this year, I don't know, with the quarantine and people being, you know, kind of more isolated, I don't know how the stores are doing selling their Easter stuff, but I would assume the grocery stores are doing just fine and Walmart and stuff like that. Might be slightly picked over, but I usually find little things and I got a bunch of eggs on sale, 50 to 75% off when I went after the season. And then I also find things on sale as I go throughout the year and I have a gift closet and I find things that I think certain people in my family would like, even if I don't have a particular occasion to give it to them necessarily, I will put it in my gift closet now that can kind of be a problem sometimes because you might put stuff in the gift closet and then forget that it's there and then like they've grown out of it. <laughs> or like you find it like years later. So anyway, you've got to continue to do inventory of your gift closet or you might forget what you have in there. But I like to do that because I save a lot of money when it comes to birthdays and Christmas and Easter baskets and all these things. I usually can find several things in my gift closet so I'm not spending a ton of money all at once. It's over time, it's also on sale. When I find a good deal, I like to kind of grab those as I can and as I see them. So. Lifeway stores, uh, they were all the stores went out of business, which is so sad, but you know, you can get everything online with them still, but their stores were going out of business and so their DVDs were like 50% off. Well, we love VeggieTales. So we got some VeggieTales videos on sale 
And then the last thing that I do with my Easter baskets is I try to do not a lot of candy. So I got two bags of candy. I have chocolate Hershey eggs. I got these at Aldi. And then I have chocolate Easter coins. And I got these at Aldi as well. I can't remember the price, but you know, it's probably just a, a, a few bucks. Sometimes I'll get it at the Dollar Tree. And that's like really cheap chocolate. Anyway, Aldi, I love Aldi. Okay, so that's the only candy that I got. Let me show you the things that I got that are toys. These are like those mystery eggs. Disney, Lion Guard, I, I got them super cheap. So it's like a mystery figurine. Yeah, a mini figurine. That's just fun. Mysteries are fun and you, like there's so many, people are making millions on mystery gifts. Like it's like it's totally a chintzy gift, but like it's so awesome because you get to unwrap like 20, different pieces of the toy and that's what sells it. So anyway, and then I got these trolls. I wanna say I got these probably at Kroger. So this has, this it has 40 tattoos. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. And this one has 40 stickers. So tattoos and stickers. I don't think I even knew what was inside of these. I literally just bought them because it was trolls and Shopkins. Not like a huge fan of tats, like those fake tattoos because they're like kind of a pain to me to be honest. Like trying to get it on there and like it took me the for the long, like I didn't do them as a kid so I didn't really know much of how to do them very well and so when I was trying to do them on my kids I was like totally failing at it. But anyway, I think they probably know how to do it better than I do now. Stickers are easy, tattoos. We'll see, I don't know. Okay, and then I got these surprise eggs. Once again, it's all about the surprises, but that's what kids like. So these are originally $4.99, I believe at Kroger, but it has a plush character inside. So there's mystery. Anyway, super fun. I probably paid to $2.50 for each of these, probably less. I don't know that I would have paid $2.50 for it. Maybe I did. I got um, the Penniless Princess Veggie Tales video and Silly Songs. These were like $5. So they were originally $9.99 and I got them half off. Those were fun. Those were from my gift closet. And I just literally went and raided my gift closet like two days ago because I was like, oh, Easter baskets. I better get this figured out. And I didn't have to go shopping. Isn't that great? See, that is another thing that's great is like when you're in getting ready for a busy season and you're like, oh crap, I gotta go to the store for Easter baskets. Like I got the chocolates like two weeks ago when I was, you know, doing my quarantine stockpile at the grocery store. And then all these big, big massive eggs I got last year. So I already had that. And all the supplies I already had and then I raided my gift closet in order to find the DVDs. And I got this book. This is one of those who's who books. Uh, Mackenzie loves these. And so I got her the one on Walt Disney. I got it on, um, when I was on a trip to Columbus back in the fall actually. So this is from my gift closet. A Little bit about Walt Disney, so that's great. And it kind of makes me sad just with what Disney, the company is dealing with right now and you know, all the Disney parks are closed, most of them anyway. And um, I don't know, kind of sad. I'm just, I'm so curious to see what's gonna happen. Anyway, on another note, okay, so we got that. And then I got this on sale a long time ago. I got all of these for my family when we went to Disney World last year, but I had an extra one for kids because I got them all for the adults, not the kids. And I had an extra one. I thought this would be a good little night shirt for Mia. She likes night shirts and stuff like that. And um, I didn't have another book. So I had the, the book for Mackenzie. And so I thought I would give Mia a little Star Wars t-shirt. And then they both have something Disney. The last thing that I got them. Now this I did order, but I ordered it online. And we needed to get them anyway. So I was trying to do things that were practical. I got my girls a Ruffle Girl swimsuit. And I love Ruffle Girl stuff. We love their their little outfits and the hair bows that match and the little necklaces that match. And they just have a lot of really cute stuff. I love these kind of swimsuits. They had a swim sale going on. I think it's still going on right now, actually. And all of their swimsuits for little girls are $15. So I got the, the top 
and then the little bottoms and they they have like really cute little patterns on their, their bathing suits and lots of different styles but we like the ones with the sleeves because then we don't have to deal with as much uh, sunscreen and so then we're only dealing with sunscreen on the face and their leg. We love these and the, the fabric is really nice. I did let them pick these out. They just don't know that they're going to be in their Easter baskets. And then Mia got this style. And then this is the little bottom. This is our practical add to our Easter baskets this year. I'm going to put these Easter baskets together and you guys can follow along if you want to check out the finished product. except for the chocolate and the bathing suit. It was nice to just already have everything pretty much ready to go. Not a whole lot of candy, a few pieces in their basket. Lots of fun things they can play with, some practical things as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. See you later.